History of Japan. Japan is an island by the sea filled with volcanoes and it's beautiful. It is very beautiful. Some might say it's beautiful. In the year negative a billion. Negative a billion. Wait, is this the guy who did the... Uh... What was it? Is this the one that did the freaking... Uh, 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 uh... Yeah. The history of the whole world, I guess? <laughs> That's this one, right? Greetings from nowhere. Oh, welcome, my dude. Hello, hello, hello. We just got started with a brand new video, History of Japan. It looks like chaos dropped for us. Billion. Japan might not have been here. In the year negative 40,000, it was here, and you could walk to it. I hope you're having yourself a fantastic day, night, evening. I don't even know what it is in Norway right now. <laughs> and some people walked to it. Then it got warmer, some icebergs melted, it became an island, and now there's lots of trees. Because it's warmer. Rock nice. <laughs> Ah, it's trunk hour. Got it. You don't have to say any more. I can already tell what time it is. <laughs> so now there's people on the island. They're basically sort of hanging out in between. If I don't have to work right now, and I got no responsibilities at this moment. <laughs> between the mountains, That's what time it is. And using the latest technology, like stones and bowls. Ding dong, it's the outside world, and they have technology from the future. Like really good metal and crazy right. The Age of Bronze. Y'all freaking seen... Oh, wow, God, this was the freaking name of it. Oh, what was the name of that freaking what? It was made by the, the the people who made Wallace and Gromit, and it was like the cave. It was like cavemen playing soccer with with like Roman like dudes. Like, just trust me, it 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 was made by the same people who made the Wallace and Gromit. I forgot what the name of the movie was, but they were basically playing soccer. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. It's a bunch of cavemen and Romans playing soccer, uh, in in claymation. Uh, have you seen uh, Star Tales? Uh, no. The animation, I, have I? Possibly. If not, I, I don't think so. Potentially not. We'll check it out. As soon as this video is over, we can check it out. Rice farms. Now you can make a lot of rice really, really quickly. That means if you own the farm, you own a lot of food, which is something everybody cool. needs to survive. You so don't that say. Makes king. Rice farming and rice kingdoms spread across the land all the way to here. The most important kingdoms were here, 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 and here. But this one was the most, most important. Ruled by a heavy... Okay. ...super person. Or Yamato. Or emperor, for sure. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Chaos did not want to be all day. That's, that's it. Blame him. <laughs> welcome, Yoshiki. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're having a good one. Knock, knock. It's a fan-made one? Get the door. It's religion. Made by just one dude. Freaking, I love, like, huge animation projects like that. That's like the freaking, uh... The guy who made who, the guy who animated the Matrix, he did freaking uh, the bean, the bean, the coffee bean. We haven't reacted to the bean movie yet. <laughs> we gotta set that up for a stream. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time to do that today, but I could start doing that. <laughs> I never reacted to the bean movie actually. That's a good point, and it's on YouTube too for free. That's uh, it, it, basically it's the guy who made the uh. The, the who animated in the Matrix movies, he pretty much made his own like awesome action movie out of coffee beans. Animated coffee beans. It's freaking hilarious. The new prince wants every Uh you said uh 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 Oh video we'll link. Alright, cool, cool, cool. From Please try this religion, he said. No, Ooh. said everybody. Try it, he said. No, said everybody again, quieter this time. Why not? And so the religion was put into place and all the rules that came with it. Then the government was was taken over by another clique, and they made some reforms, like making the government govern more, and making the government more like China's government, which is a government that governs more. Hi Makes sense. So far? So far, so good? Okay. China, they said. Hi, dipshit, said China. <gasps> Can you call- LANGUAGE, CHINA! Oh, something else. And yet you have the nerve to censor us! How dare you. Well, <laughs> dipshit, said Japan. Like what? Said China. How about sunrise? Oh, nice. We already got two video recommendations. We'll and check them both out, my dude. Attention. The hey! Father. Thank you so much for the follow, my dude. Welcoming drones. Jonas McGee. Thank you, thank you, my dude. Welcome, welcome. And they made lots of poetry and art and another book about themselves. Then they stopped moving the capital every time the emperor died and kept it in one place for a while. Right here. And they conquered the hey. north, finally. Get that squared away. I know that place. A rich hipster named Kukai is bored. A rich hipster, I love it. Modern Buddhism visits China and learns a better version, which is more spiritual. Comes back, reinvents the alphabet, and causes art and literature to be great for a long time. And the royal palace turned into such a dream world of art that they really didn't give a shit about running the country. 
he's he's not wrong, right? Like he's he's not wrong, but you have to understand. Like I I I have watched a lot of uh, history document like documentaries and like videos and stuff on YouTube about like a lot of China and Japan like history and stuff. You gotta understand it was it was it was it was a lot of court like backstabbing basically happening all the time so no one was really able to be like solid and like set for a very very long time very similar things happen in mexico but with a whole lot more revolutions so if you live outside the palace how are you supposed to protect your shit from criminals hire language a samurai everyone started hiring samurai rich important people hired samurai poor people who could not afford to hire samurai did not hire samurai the samurai became organized and powerful, more powerful than the government, so they made their own military government. Here, they let the emperor still be emperor, but the show- I will admit, I, that specific detail, I did not know. Like, I knew samurai were effectively, you know, like, where I'm like, how's it going? I'm a, I'm a chunky boy for hire. What it do, baby? You know? Uh, that's what I assumed. Uh, uh, I didn't know that they specifically made their own, like, government. What would that be? Like- so like a modern day version of like a militia or like a, a, a mercenaries for hire? You know what I mean? Yeah, basically, right? The US hires a bunch of mercenaries and like sends them other places so they don't have to like get involved. Jogan is actually in control. Breaking news, the Mongols have invaded China. We've invaded China, said the Mongols. That's exactly how they said it, by the way. It's actually, uh, it's a recording. Please respect us or else we might invade you as well. That's all they demanded, ever. Respect. And eating rocks. Well, eating rock chicken. Okay. Oh, no. Was it rock chicken or rock beef? Was it rock beef? Somebody correct me. I think it was rock beef. They ate rock beef. Rock and onion beef. Said Japan. Yeah. So the Mongols came over, ready for war, and died in a tornado. Which is exactly what it sounds like. They just, they just cooked a bunch of beef with rocks and onions, and it gave it flavor, and it tasted like rocks and beef. But they tried again, <laughs> and had a nice... They invaded your, 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 uh, your city walk? Got it. Nice time fighting with the Japanese, but then died. What about your wall? What about your city wall? <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. Oh, dude. But I, I can't. I, I don't know. One of these days, we're going to react to like a compilation of like South Park stuff. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. The reveal that that dude... I don't even want to spoil anything, but the reveal that that dude was not at all what he, like, what you think he is was just a, it was to this day the most I have laughed. <laughs> Especially after, like, because I, I went back and rewatched the, the episode where he, he has an entire, like, feud with the guy selling, like, the, uh, 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 <sighs> Like, it's just watching any episode with him, especially, like, City, like, the wall, the thing. Yeah, when he has, like, the, the war with the, the sushi guys, it's the best thing. It's the absolutely most amazing thing ever. But then, like, after watching all that and, like, finding out the, all the secrets, you go back and rewatch the episodes, and it just makes everything, like, a million times faster. Because it all makes sense now. It really is just some dude, like, making all that stuff up, he's saying, like... <laughs> it's the best! In a tornado. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna, we'll watch it, we'll watch a compilation or something. I don't and know about after this, but we got a couple of other recommendations already. But and moves to Kyoto and makes a new shogunate, and the emperor can still dress like an emperor if he wants. That's fine. Now there's more art, like painting with less colors, collaborative poetry, plays, oh, monkey fun, tea parties, gardening, <gasps> architecture, flowers. It's time for who's going to be the next shogun. Usually it's the shogun's kid, but the shogun doesn't have a kid, so he tries to get his brother to quit being a monk and be the next shogun. This is literally where it all goes wrong every time. By the way, if they had a kid, it was almost a guarantee it was going to go wrong. Let's just, let's just get this out of the way first and foremost. Like, nine out of ten times, it was going to go wrong. Because most of the times, like, they did the, the emperors were uh, not living the most uh, healthy of lifestyles. So most of the time, they passed away pretty early. And so they uh, 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 the children would, like, become the emperor. And, but basically, all that meant was all the adults in the court would try to, like, manipulate them. And that's mainly the reason why power transferred so often. He says, okay, but then the shogun has a kid. So now who's it going to be? Vote now on your phones. Uh, it's going to be the, the brother. Because the brother's going to eliminate the kid. <laughs> just, just, just taking a wild guess. And everyone voted so hard that the palace caught on fire and burned down. The Shogun actually did- You know what? I didn't expect that one. I'll be honest with you. He caught me off guard with that one. That one, that one really did, uh... You got me. What else can I say on that one? <laughs> I didn't think- I didn't, I didn't pick that option. You got me. I don't care. He was also <laughs> poetry. 
and the whole country broke into pieces. Everyone is fighting with each other for local power, and it's anybody's game. That's so many pieces. Game. Knock knock. It's Europe. No, they're not here to take over. They just want to. Really? Well, that's surprising, right? Tell some shit, like clocks and guns and Jesus. So that's cool, but. Wow, my boy JC, yeah. Everyone's still fighting each other for control now with guns. And wouldn't it be nice to. Hey! You can't, you can't have force multipliers and my boy JC. What are you doing? Control the capital. <laughs> JC and Violence? Never. Which right now is puppets with no one controlling them. This clan is ready to make a run for it. But first, they have to trample this smaller clan, which is in the way. Surprise, the smaller clan wins. And the leader of that clan steals the idea of invading the capital and invades the capital. Are you kidding me? And it goes very well. He's about halfway through con- Bro really said, I'm about to invade the capital. Now let me stop you for a minute. Why? Because I'm about to invade the capital. Step out of my way. Bam! Freaking smacked him out of the way and said, It's my turn now, baby. Uh-uh. I go first. My I'm turn. In Japan, when someone who works for him <laughs> kills him. It. And then someone else who works for him kills them. And then oh. he finishes conquering Japan. <laughs> what did I say? What did I say? It's 1590 right now. Swords. And no boo- what's freaking- what is that? What is that? Did you t typo that or does that actually mean something? Made some rules. And now I'm- Let me know if y'all want to watch me learn some Japanese. I'm willing to do like full on like Duolingo streams. I think it'd be- I think it'd be sick. Going to invade Korea and then hopefully China, he said, and failed, and also died. But before he died, he told these five guys to take care of his five-year-old son until he's old enough to be the next ruler of Japan. I wonder how this is gonna go. And the five guys- do you think it's gonna be all good? I said, yeah, right. It's not gonna be this kid. It's gonna be one of us, because we're grown-ups. And it's probably gonna be this guy, who happens to be way more rich and powerful than the others. A lot of people support him. Well, yeah, yeah, the rich, yeah, the rich part got me. But a lot all of right. people support not supporting him. They have a fight, and he wins, and starts a new government, right here. And he still lets the emperor dress like an emperor, and have very nice things. <laughs> I love, I love the emperor just chilling the whole time, it's the best. But don't get confused, this is the new government. Yeah. And they are very strict. I'm sure the Emperor gives absolutely no, uh, YouTube safe word, uh, uh manures. So strict they close the country. He gives uh, not not a single fikis about the, uh, uh, the actual real government. No one can leave and no one can come in. Except for the Dutch, if they want to buy and sell shit. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, the Dutch are cool, you know? But they have to do it right here. Now that the entire... As long as they don't get into their oven, it stinks in there. The country was not at war with itself. The population increased a lot. That's, I'm gonna get cancelled for that one, aren't I? That was such a dumb five-year-old joke, but I know it's gonna be. Business increased. Schools were built. Roads were built. Everyone learned- Member- What is this? Freaking member berries now? Member- Member- Member Pearl Harbor. Member- You member- You member- Member Pearl Harbor. Oh yeah, member Pearl Harbor. Yeah, member Pearl Harbor. You member- You member- You member- You member- I can't say that word. I was gonna say the- I was gonna say the ones that, like, fly planes into the ground. Uh, you, you, yo. YouTube will take me down for that one. To read, books were published. There was poetry, plays, sexy times. Yo, South Park a fiend for that one, yo. They really started bringing up some real like, like didn't didn't the old member Barry start talking about like I remember the real shock troopers? It's like yo, Gramps, chill. Have an have another like prune juice. Like what? Take a moment here. Remember where you are. Now that the entire country we won the war. war with itself, the population... And by we, I mean, like, the... Not your team. <laughs> a lot. Business increased. Schools were built. Roads were built. Go grab another to Sony Pat. Books were published. There was poetry, plays, sexy times, puppet shows, and Dutch studies. People started to study European science from books they bought from the Dutch. We're talking geography, skeletons, physics, chemistry, astronomy, and maybe even electricity. Over time, what? the economic and cultural... I'm going the back. I missed it. I don't know so how much I missed. The country. No one can leave here. What's the last thing I remember? I remember that. Edo. And he still lets the emperor dress like an emperor. In the and Edo. Very nice things. In the Edo. But don't get confused. This is the new government, and they are very strict. So strict they close. Okay, the this country. I definitely no remember. No one can right, leave, cool. and no one can come in, except for the Dutch, if they want to buy and sell shit. But they have this to. This dude right and oversimplified are like my kids. Oh, and extra credit. Extra credit. Extra credit. Also sick. Increased a lot. Highly recommend Business their increased. video Schools on. Uh, were built. Roads were built. Everyone learned Mary, to read. Uh, Books were published. Uh, Mary Antoinette? No. No, 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 Lady Antoinette. Though Lady Antoinette was also hilarious. Her freaking hairstyles were the most outrageous thing ever. She literally had, let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about, about, about French royalty right now. Mary, 
How do you even spell Marie Antoinette? Let me tell you a little something about French hierarchy right now, okay? When y'all when y'all over here thinking that that this whole Supreme Gucci uh Rolex whatever the frick situation was happening, y'all on on uh, y'all not even on the same level as Marie Antoinette. Like like y'all don't even understand what it means to like be I, I freaking spelled hair wrong because I'm not paying attention. I'm sorry. Freaking <laughs> Y'all need to get on, on, on her level, okay? You, you understand something? She... Can, can we get a full size... Uh... New window? Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Huff Post, for this amazing 240... My apologies. 120p image. Amazing. You're a... Uh, Services are valuable to the community of history. Uh, where is the picture you showed on freaking Google? There it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, she had a freaking boat on her head. Where's your Gucci now? Which one of y'all, uh, Bacardi? No, wait, Bacardi's not a brand. Which, what's the other one called? Which one of y'all Balenciagas, like, has anything on this? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, where, where, what, 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 what do you got? You got nothing. She's got a boat on her head. <laughs> she was a fee. She was the OG. Like, I, I am better than you, and I need you to see it. <laughs> I need, I need it to be clear that you and I are not on the same like, like, like class system. You understand me? She she fully she full on had people measuring. Y'all see that this is a instrument used to detect the rotation of like the freaking stars and shiz. Like Bro has hedge clippers. Bro has hedge clippers. Worst part is it's a freaking wig. She didn't even have to wear it. They could have just done it somewhere else. But but she has so much money that these dudes like are paid to pretend like they're actually cutting her hair. Anyway, <laughs> back to the actual video. Marie Antoinette, absolute G. Not even the woman I was trying to talk about. Uh, extra credit does does a video on on, <laughs> on Elizabeth the Great. So shit. The it's the most amazing amazing video. One of my favorite favorite Russian leaders. Highly recommended. To do it right here. Highly, highly recommended. She's, the entire country. she's such a genuinely 9,000 IQ human being, uh, and she freaking took over Russia. And, and and not only won the country, but won the hearts of the people of Russia. N not even being a Russian. She was an absolute unit. An absolute G. My microphone just fell off of my freaking arm stand thing. Now I'm just holding it in my hands. <laughs> Play the video. It was not a war with itself. The population increased a lot. How the Business frick did this increased. go? Schools were built. Roads were built. Everyone I gotta get a new arm stand anyways. Published. There was poetry, plays, sexy times, puppet shows, Ooh. and Dutch studies. People Hold started on. population. You said what about that last week? Increased a lot. Business increased. Schools were built. Roads were built. You, 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 you get to the important part. Everyone learned to read. Books Literacy. were published. There was poetry, plays, sexy times, puppet shows, and Dutch studies. People started to study European... Dutch studies? Wait, hold on. The Dutch studies one is a little... Uh... Bathory Carmilla. Is it Elizabeth? Am I mistaking? What the frick is her name? She was... She's like Prussian. She was put into power... Her, her real name is Sophia. Like her OG name. They gave her a fake name afterwards. They said she banged a, a horse. <laughs> Which it wasn't true, but it's what they said. Who am I thinking of? <laughs> they they made that lie up because she obviously where people were mad that a Rush that a non Russian lady was like becoming the queen of Russia. Science from books they bought from the Dutch. Is it not Elizabeth the Great? Frickin' you know, I gotta Google this up too. Y'all get into history. We're not even in Europe, y'all got me all over. What was it? Uh Elizabeth. 
book by Catherine the Great, idiot. There we go. Catherine. Not freaking Elizabeth, moron. Catherine the Great. I'm thinking, of, I was thinking of, 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 of UK. <laughs> There's two? Which one am I thinking of? Like she even she she even got it on with her own general. She's like the o she's like the o she's like a real one, dog. Y'all gotta like actually legit look into her. She really like took over the whole Russia and just like sort of started like getting it on with whoever she wanted to. Started doing whatever she wanted to do. She was legit. She was cool. We'll see your vid. Don't worry. <laughs> We're going until twelve. We got time. We got time. Uh, I don't know if it's this one. But anyway, her, her real name wasn't even Catherine. It's freaking like Sophia or something. But they tried to marry her off to some, uh, to like the Russian king. But the Russian king was so freaking lame that, that the Russian people were like, you know what? We don't even want the king anymore. Just let, just let his wife be like the new, the new queen. And she was like, bet, let's do it. And then they, yeah, they, they overthrew him. And that's, there you go. I just. Your history teacher didn't teach you that well, did they? We're talking geography. Skeleton, Learned just something physics, today. Chemistry, astronomy, and maybe even <laughs> electricity. Over time, the economic I'm still and struggling to get this freaking mic stand inside of the freaking thing. Hold on. Knock, knock. It's the Who's United there? States. Oh! Huge boats with guns. Gunboats. Open the country. That's, that's... Stop. Let's, 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 let's be honest here. We, you can just assume that they were carry. They were packing. Like, you don't gotta, you don't gotta let us know. Having a big... We, we know they were armed to the teeth. Closed, said the United States. There was really nothing they could do, so they signed a contract that lets the United States, Britain, and Russia visit Japan anytime they want. Choshu and Satsuma hated well, this. Well, there you go. It sucks, they said. This sucks. And with almost very little outside help, they overthrew the shogunate and somehow made the emperor the emperor again and moved him to Edo, hey. which they renamed Eastern Capital. They made a new government, Don't which you. was a lot more Western. They you learned me something today. Made a new constitution that was pretty Western and a military that was Armstead. pretty Western. And do you know what else is Western? That's right. It's conquering stuff. So what can we conquer? <laughs> yeah, no. Korea. They conquer Korea. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. I was about to say. They're about to turn right around Taking on them. it from its previous owner, China, and then go a little bit Would further. Would you go into and the Russia freaking stand in thing? Nowhere and says, Stop. No, you can't take that. We were going to build a railroad through here to try to get some warm water. And Russia builds their railroad, supervised <laughs> by a shit ton of soldiers. And then when the railroad is done... So that sounds about right for Russia. I'll be completely honest with you. What is up with? Is it not? Am I am I just gonna have to give up on this arm stand? It's like not. It's like not freaking clicking in. Ooh, it is. It is fighting me. Why? I own you, arm stand. You listen to me and my commands, not the other way around. Ow! I cut myself. Stupid arm stand. It's winning. Freaking get in! Stupid freaking it's in. Got it. All right, I'm cool. We all good. Play done. They downgraded to a fuck ton. Did I say downgrade? I meant. Oh, language. Says, Can you maybe chill? And Russia says, "How about maybe you chill?" Japan is kind of scared of Russia. You'll never guess who's also kind of scared of Russia. Great Britain. So J I'm stand making a stand. Shut up, Cass. Japan and Great Britain making an alliance together so they can be a little less scared of Russia. Feeling confident, Japan goes to war against Russia. He's freaking joining up with the writer's strike. He's like, yeah, don't lie. You tell them you got me working on the anime addict script. <laughs> Just for a moment. And then they both get tired and stop. Would you freaking it's tighten? Time. Now it won't tighten. The world is about to it's gonna have slip off again. Because it's the 1900s and weapons are getting crazy. Oh, and that's a lot of excited. It's a lot of weapons. To try them out on each other. Meanwhile, Japan has been enjoying conquering. I've heard that take a lot, actually, from a lot of historians. Apparently, a lot of, like, at least for the first... Uh, uh, Guerra Mundial. Uh, there was apparently a ton of like, a, like they were like all the countries were very antsy to try out their new military like equipment. I didn't know. Like that's such a weird thing to think about nowadays, you know. But yeah, they were very very an uh, antsy to try it out. They really wanted to get involved in a war. 
conquering stuff and they just didn't think it would get so the next you know, thing on their list bad is as it part did. of China and lots of tiny islands all that stuff belongs to Germany which just had war declared on it by Britain because Britain was friends with Belgium which was being trespassed by Germany in order to get to France to kick France's ass because France is friends with Russia who was getting ready to kick Austria's ass because Austria was getting ready to kick Serbia's ass because someone from Serbia shot the leader of Austria's ass or actually shot him in the head and Britain is currently friends with Japan so you know what that means Duh, Japan should take the islands. Which they wanted to Makes sense, yeah, 100%. To do anyway. So they called Britain on the telly to sort of... All right. Them. And then they did it. And they also helped Britain a little here and there. My have accidentally pressed another, the, the I, letter I. With some errands and stuff. Now the war is over, and congratulations, Japan. You technically right, you gonna hold war, up, or am I gonna have to? to I'm gonna leave it like this. With the big dudes, where they I'm gonna leave the microphone all weird, like. And yes, Japan gets to keep all that shit last for the rest of the stream. You also get to join the post-war mega alliance, the League of Nations, whose mission statement is to try not to take over the world. The Great Depression is trying not to take over the world. Got it. Now crappy, but the military is doing just fine, and it invades Manchuria. And the League of Nations is like, no, don't do that. If you're in the League of Nations, you're not supposed to take over the world. And Japan said, how about I do anyway? <laughs> yeah, but, but, like, you guys weren't serious about that, right? And Japan invaded more and more and more and more of China, and was planning to invade the entire East. You See, at, at, this is one of those moments where you're like, hey, you should just, like, take what you got and, like, stop. <laughs> got mail. It's from Germany, the new leader of Germany. He has a cool mustache, and he's trying to take over the world and needs friends. This also got forwarded to Italy. They all decided to be friends because they had so much in common. But I'll tell you about stopping. <laughs> but no, no one ever listens to the monkey. It's time for World War II. Germany is invading. Not when the it comes to business. Then they invade the neighbors' neighbors. Then the neighbors' neighbors' monkey neighbors, business. who happened to be Britain, said, "Holy shit!" And the United States started helping Britain because they are good friends, and started not helping Japan because they're friends, and our friends are not friends. Plus, they're planning on invading the entire ocean. The United States is also working on a large, very huge bomb, bigger than any other bomb ever, just in case. But they still haven't joined the war. War looks bad on. I wonder what that's going to be used for. TV and the United States is really starting to care about their image. But then Japan spits on them in Hawaii and challenges them to war. And they say yes. And then Germany, as a symbol of friendship, declares war on the United States also. So the United States goes to war in Europe. And they help the gang chase Germany back into Germany. And they also start chasing Japan back into Japan. And they haven't used the bomb yet and are curious to see if it works. So they drop it on Japan. They actually drop two. Dude, it is, like, I gotta tell y'all something. And I'm not about to sit here on some kind of high horse, like, as if I know, or even, like, have any kind of, like, extra freaking uh, philosophical uh, insight into the situation or the matter at hand. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, uh, the first bomb, the fat man, uh, uh, that I believe, was it uh, uh, Hiroshima? And then it hit Nagasaki was the, was a big boy. And yeah, quite quite a few other smaller bombs as well. I don't know if they were all named, but I do believe it is true to a certain extent that the U.S. did fly a bunch of pamphlets, like dropping them across the city, telling them that this was going to happen, that they have a new weapon that was designed to, to, to take out entire cities. It was not properly passed out. It was not properly passed out. It wasn't the most effective way. Of course, you know, how how can you pass out flyers effectively when, you know, it's the the heart, the capitals of uh, the enemy territory, you know? But, uh, yeah, it was it was all, altogether a really bad situation. Like, dude, like, it, it was so... The thing is that the propaganda by the emperor as well was so powerful and so, like, had so much sway in the public opinion... That one dude genuinely, and I, 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 I'll see if I can like find uh, 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 for the vod specifically. I'll, I'll see if I can find the, uh, the link to the news article that I read for that one. But he basically he went to work, got hit with the atomic bomb, like escaped somehow, survived, got off, was able to get on a train. But see, this dude, uh, such a champion, he has two part time jobs, so he goes to his second part time job. And it, which just so happened to be in the second sight of the freaking bomb. The dude survived getting hit twice by both freaking bombs, dude. And still went home at the end of it all. Like, dude was an absolute legend. Bro went to work twice that day and got nuked twice for it. 
what a legend. I hope you rest in peace, my dude. I don't know if he's still, like, kicking. I don't think he is, to the best of my memory. But good heavens. That guy's a G. That's some of that old school, like, cool, freaking, like, like, work mentality, bro. United States installed the a Welcome. <laughs> Welcome, V. Inspired by the United States government, with just the right ingredients for a post-war economic miracle. And Japan starts making TVs, VCRs, automobiles, and camcorders as fast as they can, and also better than everybody else. Okay, but let's get to the more important thing. When did the anime start? They get rich, and the economy goes wild, and then the miracle wears off. But everything's still pretty cool, I guess. Bye. No, 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 what are you doing? What are you doing? No, no, no. Where? You, you missed out, like, on half of all of Japan's history. The actual important bits. The animes. The waifus. Toei Animation. Kimba the White Lion. Ayo, be sure to join the crew. Please like, follow, and subscribe. And hey, if you like that video, you should check out this stuff.